Now introduce our keynote speaker for this evening, uh, Baba Tony Chanel. I'm going to read a quick bio. Baba Chanel is a filmmaker and entrepreneur currently working with the Philadelphia 76ers. Growing up in Albany, Tony was a basketball prodigy, named the 2010 Gatorade State Player and Philadelphia Daily News State Player of the Year. He went on to play basketball on athletic scholarships to Wake Forest and Villanova. Tony graduated from Villanova University with a degree in communications in 2014. Soon after, he founded Chanel Productions, a multimedia production company that creates web series, documentaries, and commercials with the goal of promoting social change. The documentary, In Transition, tells Tony's story of overcoming adversity and the loss of the basketball dream after his brother was murdered and his mother's death. In Transition is currently in the film festival circuit. Tony is an avid motivational speaker sharing his experiences with youth through our urban communities. Please give a warm round of applause for Tony Chanel. Hey, what's up, Trotter? How are you doing today? Y'all got a lot of love, man. Y'all about to graduate, man. I said, hey, what's up, Trotter? How are you doing today? First of all, I want to say congratulations to the class of 6255. Congratulations. All the career because of your hard work. You deserve the right to celebrate. But now, the road work starts. Whether you plan on going to college or trade school, they're going to experience obstacles along the way. And don't look at these obstacles as barriers you cannot overcome. You have to understand everything you do in life is a process. You have to be willing to lay down one brick every single day to build your wall of success. One of the things I learned is the importance of having dreams. These are the two most important days of your life. One, the day you're born. And two, the day you find out why. Once you find your life purpose, life becomes more clear. We are all born with a purpose. But the great ones find their purpose and dreams and pursue them. Remember, the dream is free, but the hustle is so separate. Meaning every single day, you have to face your dreams. You have to see your dreams really happen in your first before they actually happen. It may take six months, a year, or five years. But we rise and grind every day relentlessly and will eventually happen for you. Another thing I, I learned is the importance of having goals. Every time the year, set a number of goals you want to accomplish. Each year, go back and check. Each week, go back and check the list to see if you're going in the right direction. If you don't accomplish your goals that year, then work harder and smarter for them to come to fruition the next year. When I graduated from high school, I thought I had life figured out. Come out of high school, I was a high school All-American, Gatorade State Player of the Year, Philadelphia Inquirer of the Year. However, things don't always go according to plan. Going into my junior year, my brother was killed as an innocent bystander in a drive-by shoot. He was my father figure and one of my biggest influences in my life. A year later, my mom died of a heart attack in her sleep. I was at a crossroads in my life of trying to understand why. These were two great people who were both in the prime of their lives. During that time, I had two options. Play the victim, use my circumstances as an excuse to quit, or use everything they both taught me, no matter how tough life get, and always use them as my biggest motivation to be successful. I went on to get my degree, in communications from Willowville University, and now work with the Sixers and have my own phone production company. <laughs> I'm doing film now. It allows me to tell a story from my perspective. My goal now is to produce films that can impact the youth and make them conscious of the decisions they make them. No matter how hard life gets, never quit, never give up. We never know how strong we are, so being strong is your only option. Plus, we all from Philly, and Philly don't breed no quitters. Here, we all from 
especially being this blessed to make it to this point in our lives. The few things I have learned from some of my old kids. Be open for new experiences to try out different things. Try to stay in contact with teachers, mentors, and coaches who have helped you along the way. Send them a text and let them know how you're doing. These people will always be there for you. And someday, you may need to be there for them. Remember, you give what you give, so be a giver more than a receiver. Attitude is your trademark towards your character, so if you're someone who's always positive and upbeat, people are always going to want to be around you. Energy is contagious, so surround yourself with people who give you positive energy. Remain humble and hungry. Stay away from dream killers. Two questions to ask yourself during your journey. Think about what you're doing and why you're doing it. And most importantly, never let your circumstances define you. And then finally, I just want to leave you guys all with a quote that I apply to own every aspect of my life. Remember, life is a journey, so everyone's time is different. It's not how you start your journey, it's all about how you finish it. So stay with your marathon to achieve success, happiness, and good health. Peace, and remember to always keep God first. Now you all Take on the world.